storms. Here's what we know right now. The National Weather Service has confirmed 11 tornadoes in North Texas and that one person died. Governor Abbott came to Jacksboro this afternoon to get a firsthand look at the damage and issued a disaster declaration in 16 counties. One of them is Grayson County, about 70 miles north of Dallas, near the Oklahoma border and Lake Texoma. An EF2 tornado slammed into a neighborhood there and killed a woman. And tonight, Matt Howerton has been speaking with her family. Uh, yes, what's behind us is what's left of their trailer. Regina Wicker. You couldn't make heads or tails out of anything. Takes a seat on the porch. That she was just one of the sweetest people you could ever know. That was connected to Veranda Rogers' mobile home in Sherwood Shores. My aunt and uncle's home was destroyed with the her, uh, tor tornado yesterday evening. That home <laughs> is now scattered across the lot. I just know it seems like my family calls me when something goes wrong. The 73-year-old was inside Monday when an EF2 tornado hit the area. <laughs> were injured, but Veranda did not Somebody survive. Somebody said today she's the type that would give you the shirt off her back. Rogers was Wicker's aunt. She drove in from Fort Worth after the tornado hit. I mean, we had no idea what we were going to be walking into, really. The National Weather Service telling us that winds likely reached up to 130 miles per hour here in this area. Rogers' family telling us that the 73-year-old's mobile home was flipped over. And out of all people, it, why her house? You know, why, why this one? While Wicker and her family struggle with that question. So my aunt also loved coffee. She drank coffee all day long. The things they're finding in the debris, the things that remind them of veranda. Plates. Well, my family, they cook a lot of pies. And so I picked those up. Sorry. But bring some comfort. We got four left, but she probably had a dozen. It is devastating. Photos, memories, they are the little things this family will stand on. To me, don't take life for granted. To get by. Don't take your loved ones for granted, you know. She wouldn't. In Grayson County, I'm Matt Howard.